What's going on boys and girls? It is day one of Frankie's Free Range Meat, AKA Frankie sweating his guts out in a kitchen, getting you guys your quality meat at an affordable price. So let's do a little tour of what's going on today. We got a lot of meat, organs, fat, everything you guys have ordered. This is one of our cold storage units. This is the refrigeration space. We keep most of our meat in here. What's going on? And then, these are the ovens we're using right now and some tallow to make the pemmican. We got some sheet trays laid out. Of course, standard sanitizing station. All kitchens. We got some more meat outside here. Most of it's up in here already. We got some more cold storage over here. This is another freezer where we're keeping stuff cold. That's really it for now. Uh, I'll check in with you guys later uh, once we get some stuff cut up. I'll show you guys what's going on. We'll take a look at some meat. We'll take a look at some sample packs. Here is the first look at our ribeye. We have a beautiful, untrimmed, grass-fed, antibiotic, and hormone-free roll of ribeye here. And as you can see, there is a lot of fat, especially considering this is grass-fed. We have the dark color of the meat. And the fat is usually beige to yellow. It depends on the breed of the animal, the time of year. But this is an exceptional quality. And I'm really looking forward to you guys trying these steaks. Here you guys can see the drastic variance in the size and coloring of the steaks. This has to do with the age of the animal, the breed of the animal, what it was grazing on at the time but both of these steaks are 100% grass fed and delicious. Check out the marbling on these beauties. These look really good too. Almost prime grade. Yes. As you guys can see, there is a variance in the fat deposit. So what we try to do is give people lean steaks as well as fatty steaks. So everyone gets their fair share of variants in the packages. Frankie boy has been cutting steaks for the past six hours and we might have another six hours to go. I figured I would show you guys the tenderloin. Frankie boy has cut every single steak for you guys. So I'm on it. Uh, 650 pounds of ribeye have been completed. Just to show you guys the difference in marbling on the filet mignon, it's not really varying from animal to animal, but this tenderloin is from the middle part, this is from the end, and this is from the other end. So there is a slight variance in the marbling on the tenderloin, but just about all of them are going to look like this. You can see the nice yellow fat of the tenderloin. Uh, we have a bunch more over here. We just finished cutting the filet mignon and we actually have quite a bit of steak trimming. So for any of you guys who like tartare, this would be perfect. Uh, we'll definitely be offering it in the future at of course a discounted rate because it is trimmings but it is still filet mignon boys and girls. Very easy to cut, perfect with tartare. We'll see about that in the future. It looks like they let a Wagyu cow into the herd somehow. Uh, we might be offering this level of marbling as like prime or Wagyu grade, but out of every single steak I've cut today, and I've cut about a thousand pounds of meat, this is by far the only steak that looks like this. So I guess we have a rare treat for one special customer. We got here at 8 a.m. It is now 8 p.m and we are almost finished. I'm gonna show you guys our fat as well as the beef that we will be putting in our fatty beef box. Here we have some nice yellow slabs of trim fat. These are actually really cold. When they warm up, they get even more yellow. Some of them turn orange. And here we have several of the cuts that we're offering in the fatty beef pack. So this is rump cap. It has a nice fat cap, but the inside is kind of lean. Here, of course, we have our chuck roll with a nice fat deposits throughout. This is a piece of brisket, super fatty, super marbled. 
and then we have the skirt steak. We will also be putting some flat meat in our fatty beef box. Uh, in the initial box, we're gonna give you guys an extra few pounds of meat here and there because uh, we don't exactly have the highest fat content meat that we're looking for right now. Uh, so if that encourages you guys to buy another fat pack or uh, definitely check out what we'll have in the future. We're trying to get some beef belly. We're gonna have some short rib next time and overall increase the fat content of the cuts because that is the goal of the fatty beef box. There's no light in here, but this is our fridge. Here we have all our steaks. We have more steaks down here, more steaks down there. A bunch of meat over here as well. Every single thing is in here, nice and cold. So everything is ready to be sent out tomorrow. We just gotta cut up some liver, uh, portion out some fat, a few more things, and then we are finito for today. 14 hour, 16 hour day, not too bad. It's actually the next morning about 9 a.m. Uh, we finished around 10 p.m. last night and I didn't get to bed until 3 a.m. We got most of the meat cutting done. Uh, we're gonna go in today to fill some orders, uh, finish up some of the processing. Definitely a little bit of a learning curve and some growing pains, but I think we should be good to go moving forward for everything. And I realize that there's a reason uh, no one else is offering you know, these types of products, custom cut, quality stuff. It's because it's an incredible amount of work. No one wants to do this. And I mean, it makes sense, but uh, Frankie Boy is uh, always willing to do the dirty work. So uh, we're gonna head over to Home Depot. I gotta pick up a light bulb for the freezer as well as some more gloves. And then we're gonna head back down to the kitchen. We are back in the dungeon, boys and girls, and the light bulb did not work. So we'll have an electrician look at that, maybe, maybe not. But uh, here we got Adam is filling some of the orders right now. Uh, we still got a bunch of stuff to do, such as cut the Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, prep some liver, prep some fat, so I will jump on that. Here we have the wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano. As you guys can see, it says DOP, designation of protection. It can only be from a certain region made in a certain way. We have the etching on the side. That says Parmigiano Reggiano. And we have the stamp. Uh, they date this as well. February 17. February of 2017. And I swear to God, guys, when I was lifting this up, I felt like strongman. I thought I was going to get a goddamn hernia. So uh, let's cut this open and uh, check it out. All right, so we cracked into the Parmigiano Reggiano with our chef's knife, took about 10 minutes. This smells amazing when it's freshly cracked open. Uh, looking forward to sending this out to you guys. Cheese in particular is really one of the most approachable foods and it's an amazing source of nutrition. Very high in vitamin K2, high in all the fat soluble vitamins. Really depends on the type of pasture the animals were on. In the case of Parmigiano Reggiano, it has to be from grass fed animals. It has to be made from raw milk. So it is an exceptional quality product. I've got about a quarter of the Parmesan cheese so far. We're almost done. Uh, this is just another quarter of the wheel and we'll save the other half of the wheel for another day. Adam is rendering some beef fat to make pemmican right now. And here we have the pemmican uh, just breaking up in here so we can dry the beef out further. And this is the, uh, the New Zealand beef fat. Filling some orders, multitasking. There's some of the golden rendered tallow. If you place an order, let me know if you guys actually want the rinds. I mean, I'm gonna be saving these and maybe we could uh, give them to people who like using it for stocks or soups or whatever, but I figured you guys would rather just have the cheese. And this is how it's gonna come. Nice, vacuum packed, half pound portions. Frankie Boyd just finished boxing up about 100 pounds of beef fat. We have the beautiful beige yellow coloring. Check it out, boys and girls, look at all of that. Here we have the milk fed veal liver. The reason this is darker than regular veal liver is because when the cows get their mother's milk, it has a much higher nutrient content and 
a high nutrient content is generally reflected in the darkening of the animal's flesh. I got my buddy boy to try a piece of liver. What's going on? And that's the raw veal liver, right? Mm-hmm. It's creamy. Maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me, but... You said it tasted like milk earlier. It's like milk. Lact it's like lactic. Really mild. It's like mild, sweet, minerally. Sweet, for sure. For those of you guys who don't know, this is my business partner, Adam. And uh, he's been killing himself, uh, making you guys pemmican. It's and now, Frankie Boy is down here in the dungeon with him. We are filling orders before the pickup comes. Uh, here we have a premium steak pack, some cod liver, ribeye pack, cheddar cheese. A bunch of orders being filled at the moment. I will check in with you guys later. Another fairly long day. I mean, it hasn't been too bad, about nine hours, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. I uh, came in, we broke open that wheel parmigiano, cut some meat up, and the last few hours was really scrambling to get about 70 orders out. Uh, you know, running in and out of the fridge and freezer, grabbing our products, uh, getting them packaged into boxes before the UPS, FedEx, and USPS pickups came. So we got about 70 orders out. And we're looking to fill a couple hundred next week, the majority of the initial order. So if you guys haven't received your order yet, uh, we should be sending it out next week. Uh, as I spoke about earlier in this video, a lot of growing pains, a lot of things we learned uh, that we're going to need for next week to get these orders out as efficiently and quickly as possible.